Marco, man, turn that down. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. What is going on, man? Real quick, man. Today is Sunday, man. Yes, I take breaks, even on Sundays. BT with JT, man. I'm on a break. I'm on a break from, because I'm not at work. I'm on a break from just a break, because I got a phone call, and there's a potential chance to do some of this. All right, make some money. I happen to love that stuff. That little piece of paper is kind of green. Uh, you know, it got the Benjamin uh, the presidents on the front of it. I love that those kind of paper. Okay, and so <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. No, I'm not joking. I'm really, I'm really, I really do love those that green paper. But I'm joking about. I'm not really joking at all. What am I doing? I'm not joking. You know, I don't play like that. I'm not playing. I am going. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Brothers Motors. I'm headed to Brothers Motors. Big Rod Automotive. Uh, that's a buddy of mine. Used to work. Uh, he used to work at the dealer with me, guys. From time to time, he got his own shop now. From time to time, I go over there and uh do some troubleshooting and do help my man out. Okay, he uh he's getting beat up over here on something. Uh, char uh charger or either a challenger. One of them with a three six in it. Ah, oh, they can't figure out what's going on. So. Dun, 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 JT to the rescue. Uh, no, he he, uh, he just want to pick my brain. I'm finna go over here and see what he got going on. And another guy is supposed to meet me over here to get his charger uh, tune up on his charger. Okay. Now I have a difference of opinion on what tune up mean, but he's simply gonna bring me some spark plug. Sure, I screw in some spark plug. If you want to call that a tune up, go for it. That's more to a tune up than just freaking spark plugs, guys. Uh, a lot of other parts come into play. A lot of other parts you should be inspecting. A lot of other parts you should be checking and cleaning. Throttle body, air filter, PCV valve, all that stuff. But if that's all the parts he bring me, that is all the parts I will install. I think he feel intimidated, guys. Um, you know, the older model cars, they wasn't so intimidating. I mean, the spark plugs was right there. Even some of the four cylinders are... Uh, intimidating to some people and all it is is two covers hiding the spark plugs but you know i'm not going to ease his intimidation he, he probably don't have a spark plug too i don't know but i think he want me to do it so i'll be responsible for if something don't run right some people do that guys they i know i want you to do it bro it's easy man you just screw it in i know but i want you to do it like one guy called me by the um oil pressure sensor i was like dude it's right there in the front of the engine Grab your oil pressure socket and do it on. No, I want you to do it. And so he, they paid me to do this stuff. Now, I understand. If something ain't right or that's not the problem, uh, you know, I merely have to find out what's the problem. So that could be a, a way to get a, a di get diagnostic out of me. I don't know. I'm not a hard guy to deal with. Uh, but if I sense I'm being used, and I, don't even, I wouldn't even call it used if you're paying me. And that's mostly always the case. You're going to pay me. So I don't call it a use, but however you feel trickery, <laughs> and these are friends. These are people I call friends. So I have no problem with it, guys. I mean, I'm going to tell them, look, I'll screw this in, but you likely have other problems. I can check it after we come to the conclusion that this wasn't your problem. So I go that right on it. Nobody's doing anything wrong. Nobody's hurting anybody. Nobody's nothing. It's all good. But I think he feel intimidated uh, by the plenum, the intake plenum on the top of the uh, the three six, y'all know the plenum have to come off to gain access to the bank two spark plugs. Bank one is fairly easy you can get to, but I take the plenum off and I screw in some plugs. Uh, even if he don't bring me no throttle body clean, I think we got some at the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this throttle body and check. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do right by them, even though they some guys just want them. They're gonna be cheap no matter what. They're gonna try their best to. But it's cool. So, guys, that's where I'm headed. BT with JT. Let me go to a quick ad break. I'm almost here. In fact, it is over here somewhere. Yeah, he's supposed to meet me here at 1. It's like 12.45 now. So, I'm going to go in here. I think Rod over here yanking out an engine on a 3.6. Uh, he said he had a 1-2 pull. So, while he's doing that, I might break out the camera and film uh, what he got going on. All right, guys, so let me go to a break, man. I will see y'all in a second. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back.
Okay, here's my buddy right here, guys. So we about to do this uh, tune-up. Uh, okay, this is a white. Oh, this is a nice one, too. Let me guide him around here, guys. Uh, find a nice spot. This thing gonna be hot. Oh, uh, we might have to do it right here. Let's see. Hey, what up, man? Uh, I thought you was gonna come around because I need you to uh, face in this way okay. over there. Okay. So, oh, you can bag right right here and okay. just come all the way around. I right. appreciate it. Yeah, that's a nice one, Alabama. Look at the wheels on that joker. I want him facing right here. Well, yeah, let me knock this tune up out right quick. So I'm gonna have him right here. Guys, let's see if we can uh, knock this tune up out right quick. Huh? Yes, 3.6. Alright guys, I got work to do. I'll get back with y'all in a second. seal so they use silicone to uh, seal it up so, yeah it's a shame you gotta do all this just to get to these three spark plugs Ooh, wow you can do these three uh -huh. but these three here no I'm glad you take it take it off so I can see you have to take it off that's the only way you're gonna get to the spark plug it's under here okay now when you put that neck in you gotta take all that off mm -hmm. okay all you right. gotta take this off you gotta go even deeper okay Okay. Okay, because his neck is like right up on here. Okay. So it's right. easy to get this out, but to do the neck, that. Okay. it's a big part. Of All right.
know, man, I am done for the day. All right, my break time is over. I've just about had enough. All right, guys, see, that's what I mean about uh, uh, quick little jobs, little money-making side jobs, all right? Now, sure, this is my day off. Sure, I should be, you know, spending time with the family, relaxing and all that. But right now, the family's at home still sleep. okay? It's still kind of early. They're just not waking up. So I like when I get criticized for stuff like that. And, uh, and I get criticized by a family member, my mom. Boy, I stay at home sometimes, stop working so much. Now, I just went, I just got up early Sunday morning, went to the shop, my buddy's shop. You know, $200 later, in what, a couple hours maybe, uh, I'm done. So whatever I was going to do, or whatever I had plans to do anyway, that particular day, it would have been around this time anyway, by 12 o'clock. So, <laughs> hypothetically, I could have done that anyway and still went and did what I did. So, see guys, what I mean sometimes by this is um, take advantage of your health and strength. If you are healthy and strong, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, if the opportunity is there, man, you're not going to always have opportunity to make, to make money, even at your job. Uh, Y'all know strictly commission, wholeheartedly commission. So there's no clock. Man. You can't punch in around a clock. If you don't work, you don't eat. Okay. Now I'm laying my nine to five job aside. When you're off and the opportunity present itself, somebody call you say Saturday. No man, what you doing tomorrow, man? I need a a tune up done. Yeah, which is what I just got through doing. I need such and such done, guys. If, the, if it's there, and on top of that, guys, I was able to help somebody keep going, okay? Um, he, his car really needed a tune-up. He was uh, I had to do some other stuff to his car. So it's a good thing I laid my eyes on his car because I saw some things that a tune-up wouldn't take care of. So I was able to help a friend, able to make some money, and able to, I don't know, there's, there's at least three ables to everything. But I'm okay with that. I'm cool. Life is beautiful. Now I'm going to go home and see what's popping in the house. Maybe by now everybody is up. We can make plans for the day. So I didn't miss out on anything. I gained, however, I gained on something and that is, uh, you know, monetary. So I'm a cool with that, man. So I'm done for the day, guys. My break time is over. And I'm still uh, considering this a break, all right? So there's a break. BT with JT is what I like to call it. That's what I call it, man. So, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Uh, I got a lot of editing to do, too. So when I get some free time, uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday, guys. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Um, I got to do it all over again tomorrow. So Monday is a new week. It's a vicious cycle. Vicious, vicious, vicious cycle. Okay? That's why vacation is needed. What, three times a year because this lifestyle can drive you cuckoo. All right, guys, enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.